Hey guys, so as promised, we are at Steel City Horror Con, Wednesday Adams, Pugsley Adams. I feel like I can't smile at all today. I know, we just- really hard not to. We just took a picture with someone and I didn't know what to do. I, I, yeah, I was like, I just kind of smirked. Pugsley's a little more mischievous, right? So we're in like the celebrity greet area. Um, behind us is this huge line for Cassandra Peterson, who is Elvira. And then Linda Blair is back there. Um, I'm gonna turn around. Actually, I'm gonna flip the camera. Why don't I just do that? That'd be easier. We have Scott Wilson right here who plays Herschel on The Walking Dead. And then there's just all kinds of people that are in, you know, the horror movies. Back here is um, Butch Patrick. I don't know if you can see him. There he is. Right there. He plays Eddie Munster in The Munsters. And who else is around? Road Warrior. People that played Jason. People that played Michael. But yeah. We are here for Elvira today. For sure. Doing a whiskey tasting. Oh, that's amazing. At a horror convention. It's so good. Yeah. It tastes like a, like a bonfire. So we didn't know it, but with the three day pass, we were in like reserved seating for the panels. So that was good information. But we're waiting to see Cassandra Peterson right now. Oh, she's going to be like right there. Right there. We're going to be so close to Elvira. I'm excited. Cassandra. Cassandra. I can't hear that name without thinking of Wayne's World. And her name was Cassandra. <laughs> character, but most of all, as a great human being. She's intelligent, she does charity work, she's just fun. <laughs> but she's smart also. She's really smart. I think we need her to run for office. I say, vote for Elvira! Nowadays, to run for president, you don't have to be really smart. <laughs> 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 thank you. Thank you for that. And thank you for the flowers. Very sweet of you. Very nice way to start things yeah, off. I, I do feel like I really could be the president at this point. Well, I'd probably do a better job. <laughs> Great. Uh, Want to start the press conference now and get a yeah, question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, me. All right. Next question, please. Right, right back, back there. Oh, yeah, right over there. Right there. Yeah. Alvaro, I was wondering if you ever got a permission from the singers that sing Alvaro, the Aldrich boys? <laughs> no, nope, didn't have to get permission for the name because the name is Elvira. Uh, it was funny, their, their song and my show came out the same week. This wow. happened uh, <laughs> spontaneously. They didn't ask me, I didn't ask them. So. Just uh, one of those things. People always say, were you named after the song? And, and they have said to, to me, we're, this is a song for Elvira. And it just was a spontaneous thing. Weird accident. I picked, I picked the name Elvira out of a can, a coffee can. And just went, Elvira, okay. All right. Nice. Are you still over here? This is going to be a silly question. About 30 years ago. There no silly question. About 30 years ago, the National Enquirer came out and said that Elvira and Elvis Presley had a baby together. <laughs> 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 you had a baby? <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't hang out with Elvis, but <laughs> I did not have a baby with Elvis. I wish I had. Oh, I'd be so set up right now. <laughs> I wouldn't be working, let me tell you, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> No, I did meet Elvis when I was a showgirl in Las Vegas and um, spent the evening and the next day with him. And um, he is actually <clears throat> responsible for me kind of leaving Las Vegas. I was, at the time, I was the youngest showgirl in Las Vegas in 1969. I was 17. And um, Elvis did not think it was a good idea for a young girl my age to be in Vegas, being a showgirl, running around on stage in my skivvies. And uh, he suggested that I learn to sing. And he and I actually sang together on the piano. He played the piano and we sang. And he said, you have a decent voice. You should 
take some vocal lessons. I'm like, you know, get a band or do some singing. Do some, and I'm like, I don't think I would have done it unless Elvis would have told me to do it. You know, but coming from him, it was like, okay. And next day, I was in singing class, learning how to sing, and um, I ended up leaving Las Vegas very soon after and getting in a band in Italy. Don't ask me why how that all happened, but um, if it would have been for Elvis, I would now be the oldest showgirl in Las Vegas. <laughs> Sure. So uh, he really did have a big influence on my life. So, I love you. And I just got Priscilla a couple weeks ago. So fun, first time. And I was afraid she was going to beat me up, but she was actually very sweet. <laughs> Is there any uh, news or update on the animated series that you're working on, and when can we expect it? Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, the news is that uh, all of everybody working on it, myself and the writers, the two writers and the uh, artists, all have day jobs. <laughs> so we're all working, you know, uh, behind the scenes. They're trying to get it together, and it's in its second um, uh, draft right now. We do have a pilot. Uh, a company is going to make the pilot. So it's moving along. I'm the center of attention everywhere I go. <laughs> no, uh, I think that's why I got into acting, because I liked being the center of attention. Um, even when I was a little kid, I was up, my parents put me up on tables in restaurants, and I would dance, and people would throw coins at me. And I thought, this is an awesome way to make money. <laughs> and I guess I still do that now. <laughs> I sit behind a table, and people throw dollars at me, so it's much better. <laughs> but acting is fun. I love acting. Acting is like being a big uh, grown-up kid. It's, you know, it's a fun uh, um, occupation if you can also make money doing it, which is the hard part. <laughs> and, and you can parody a character, you know, as long as it's a parody. And I'm very flattered by people parodying me, um, especially on The Simpsons. I mean, I love The Simpsons. And the funny thing is. Uh, have you guys seen Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the movie? Yes. Uh, the movie. Okay. You know, this is an odd thing. When I walk in, and there's an actress in the in the TV studio right at the beginning, and she's the newswoman, and she comes up to me, and she says, does anything embarrass you? And I kind of flip her little tie she's wearing and say, yeah, wearing that might do it. <laughs> I mean, that, that woman is the voice of uh, Lugarella in The Simpsons. Gus McNeil, isn't that weird? Ah, damn it. I wish I was the voice. Oh. Yeah, the Groundlings is very much a character-based uh, uh, improv group where you come up with whatever wacky, whatever wacky character you can. And uh, um, so Paul Rubens, uh, Phil Hartman was in the class with me, John Paragon, who played John B. the Genie on Ewe's Playhouse. Um, all of those people, Lorraine Newman was in that class. She was just leaving as I was I was coming in. And I was as I was going out, uh, Julia Sweeney, who played Pat. Remember that character, Pat? Yeah. Um, and uh, John Lovitz played the liar character, you know, John Lovitz. They were coming in. So very much based on uh, characters, developing characters. And although I didn't really I didn't really develop Elvira there, I developed a character that was similar to Elvira, kind of a a valley girl, actress, kind of smart ass character. Um, of course, when I had the Elvira look and put that together with that character, they didn't fit at all, but they somehow worked. I don't know how. I would say if you're gonna develop a character, it's like you're ordering from a Chinese uh, menu at a restaurant. Pick one from column A and one from column B, then put the two together, even though they don't have anything to do with the other one. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. Pee Wee and I are the are the um, members of a very very exclusive club. People who have built one character who they use the, the their whole life. Maybe Gene Simmons or Alice Cooper. We might let in that club. We don't. Know. <laughs> but that's about it. Everybody else has various characters they play. No, it, it, it actually takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to get the whole wig, the costume, the makeup all all done. And I do it myself. Everybody always asks if I have a makeup or hair person, but I have somebody does the wigs for me, uh, but I do the makeup because, good or bad, I always want it to look exactly the same. And I'll go out and I'll have the best makeup guy in the world and he'll do my makeup and it'll look different. It won't look exactly like Elvira and I'll be wiping it off and starting it over. So, got in the habit of doing it myself.
Okay. Just don't be, don't have that so. <laughs> and right there, let's squeeze in one last question. We're in the back right in the middle, let's take it. That guy, we're gonna go, you're headed back to your table, am I correct? After yeah. this? Yeah. So, tell me What's that? Plug Facebook and Twitter and oh, yeah. all your Oh yeah, no, your that, thank you, yes. Please look at uh, look me up on elvira.com. A lot of info on there, probably I can answer all the rest of your questions. There you go. And uh, if you go on elvira.com, you can also look at my Facebook, Twitter accounts and all that, at the real Elvira. So go, be my friend. Yay. Yay. We have a final question right here. I'm curious if uh, you would want to retire the Elvira character, like when you're done and say that that or would you like license it out and try and find like the your successor mm, you know the successor thing thank you for asking it I, I didn't work out so well with, <laughs> with uh, uh, my show uh, search for the next Elvira we kind of were thinking we'll find a successor and we found a very lovely girl who who did it uh, April Wallace and uh, unfortunately nobody wanted to hire her <laughs> Oh, we sent her to Nebraska, put her in some really horrible parade or something. It was awful. And then, you know, and then everybody wanted the real Elvira. And I just have this feeling that uh, that kind of thing isn't going to work. I, I have this dream to kind of do a live Broadway show of uh, Mistress of the Dark, the TV show. And I mean, yes, the, the movie on, on stage, like on Broadway. Like, uh, uh, you know, like... Uh, Hairspray or something, and do a musical. Uh, which we really love to do it. Even then, I think I'll have to find somebody to play Elvira in that case because I don't know, seven days a week, two shows a night. No, so uh, that that something like that might happen. But I, I don't know that it'll it'll go into another person uh, playing it. I'm afraid. Bummer. But hopefully, the licensing and merchandising and the animated show <laughs> will continue the character going on into the future, even when I no longer play it which is in about 10 minutes from now. <laughs> Let's hear from Sandra Peterson on Flower Hill. Let's hear from Kendall. Oh, so good to always have you here. You guys, you can do better than that. Yeah. Thank you so much. She's headed back. Keep it, she's still in the room. Come on, just a bit more. Once again, she is heading back to her table to sign, and if you did not have a chance to ask a question or just want to hang out and visit her, you know you're more than welcome to do that. She's headed out, coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay, quick update. The Cassandra Peterson panel was amazing. She was so good and like feminist and um, liberal and lovable and I did expect her to go so political but I appreciated that she did I liked it a lot um, so we're in line to meet her right now we just kind of scoured the convention for an Elvira thing to sign I picked up this picture what'd you give her so yeah we are in line to meet her right now I'll show you the line real quick we are getting so close, so close. We just met Cassandra Peterson! She's so sweet. She is like the nicest person ever. I wasn't even nervous. You, and you guys know how I am around people like that. I'm not cool. I kept my cool and she complimented my hair. Oh, I complimented my hair. This is the best thing <laughs> ever could have happened. I know. <laughs> that made me so happy. So show your pic, your pic, <laughs> your picture. I actually like had bought a print. I was gonna get signed, and then she had this sitting on her table and this purple. I couldn't see none of the purple, so she signed that for me. Yeah, that one's awesome. And then this is what I got. That's such a good one. That was too. great. If you guys ever have the opportunity to meet her, do it. 100% please Sweetest do. Person ever. So nice. Cannot stress that enough. So we are keeping these in the car so we don't mess them up and we're going to take pictures yeah, and we're going to eat <laughs> and then shopping after that. Pictures, food, shopping. Sounds and then party. Yeah. Sounds good.